Hi everyone. Yes, in this video we are going to see what are my favorite plugins in Figma. So you might have heard about a lot of plugins, but these are very very useful for me and it helped me to save a lot of time when I'm designing. So these plugins are not only for the beginners, it is also for who are working with the components and working with the design system or struggling to clear up their files and much more. So let's get into the video. Number one is clean document. Struggling to clean the layers in your Figma file, this plugin will be helpful for you. That is clean document. You can get this from Figma community. Let's say I'm having a lot of text and elements in my Figma file. It's arranged differently now. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna select the layers and run this plugin. That is called clean document. All the layers will be rearranged for you in a proper manner. As you can see now, As humans, we might have made a lot of mistakes and errors in our design. So how to fix it or how to find it out first? This plugin will be helpful for you to find those mistakes. Let's see what. This is design lint. You can download it from the community. As you can see, there are a lot of uh, components in this file. I'm just gonna select the frame and run this plugin. It shows that I'm having incorrect border radius for the toggle button. That's how it will help you to fix your errors. I don't know about everyone, but in my earlier stages of designing, I have struggled a lot many times when changing the colors from one to another. So if it's not a component, uh, it's very hard for me to change and select the layers, uh, select the elements and then change the color to another one by one. So it was just a bit difficult for me. Anyways, now I'm used to create components, but this plugin changed my whole life. <laughs> Let me show you that. The plugin is find and replace. You can download it from the community. Here we have three different set of bars differentiated with colors. So if I try to change the color one by one, it'll be difficult. If I have to change the colors to all of the bars, and what I can do is, I can run the plugin for this particular layer and replace the color, it's done. It saves a lot of time as well. It's not always easy to check all the width and height of any of the element is rounded or not. If it is in decimals, it will be very hard for us to keep it in place. And also to maintain the proper spacing that we have already following as per the style guide. So in that case, what we can do? This plugin will be helpful for that, which is called round all. So let's say I have three types of pie charts here. Each of the charts are in different sizes as you can see and also it is in decimals. So now I'm gonna select all the three layers and then run this plugin. Okay, now it all got rounded up. I love this one as well. I know there are a lot of external websites which is helping you to create your own logos and but sometimes it's not editable so much. Sometimes it, it's only helping us to download the PNGs or JPEGs or uh, sometimes editable file which is not fully editable but uh, you can resize it uh, but when it comes to this logo creator you can download it from Figma again so this will help you to change the linear gradients and everything like total SVG file will be available for you to edit and I think major and standard logos will be all available if you want to modify your logo you can also know that I'm running this plugin here and I could be able to download whatever the logo I want That is all for today. Hope the video was helpful. If you have any doubts, you can put that in the comment section. And if you know other plugins, put the links in the comment section so that people will be um, using that as well. So that everyone will make use of it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll meet you all in the next video. Bye-bye.